All right, now that we've gone over some basic mapping, let's try mapping the hex pads, the A and B pads on the Boop with Thunder overlay. This gets tricky because they send three messages at once and the software, this is the case with almost every MIDI-learn software, doesn't really accommodate three messages coming at once. So we need to turn off the messages that we're not mapping and turn on just the one that we want to map and go through the cycle for all three. Kind of a pain, but you only have to do it once. So let's go to our Sensel app, and we can see we've got the uh, Hookla Thunder, the sort of out-of-the-box mapping, set one. Um, XYZ is sending 22 on pressure, 20 on X, and 21 on Y on channel one. So. Uh, what we want to do is, uh, let's say we want to map X, so we go ahead and turn off pressure. Well, first let me show you what happens. I'll go here, and let's say we want to map X to reverb. I click on the reverb, uh, let me unassign what it is. Click on the reverb, and I'll use one of the hex keys. And it grabs something, but what it ends up grabbing is the last one that's sent that would be the pressure. So we come out of here and now I'm using the pressure value and I wanted to use X. So what do we do? We go back to Sensel app. We turn off pressure. We turn off Y. Send map to morph. And go back here. Enable the uh, MIDI learn. And now we are using X to control the amount of reverb. So that's cool. Another thing to know about how these are set up, by default, they're set as relative. So your gesture is kind of like a, almost like a mouse scrolling gesture to get through the values. If you want it to be always zero when you're on this side, or always 127 when you're on this side. Uh, turn on absolute X. Similarly, you could turn on absolute Y. And send map to morph. Now, when we go back, and we'll get our controller back, now it works kind of as expected. Um, the good thing about that relative mode is it's good for fine tuning or, you know, again, just doing sort of relative gestures.